Happy Sunday, everybody. CRL Sunday's back in full force. St. Clair Saints trying to get this CRL qualifier started off, and they will do so with a goal just four seconds in. Jobin and Fundy are here to break you down the action. They missed out on that CRL East qualifier last week, but they are back, and they are starting off with a vengeance. Saints back here. Early, early goal today. First set of the day here. Going to be coming up against Algonquin College. Their Black Squad coming in here. They're going to have Payne, Schwarma, and Squash there on the roster. And now, about 15 seconds into the match, we got ACB kind of tucked into their net. Payne with a great aerial save, though. Yeah, they're going to see if they can get off this back foot. Now, defensively, the Saints have done a very good job these first 20 seconds, putting that pressure on. Ooh. Slow crawler going to get taken away there by Schwarm. And now, can Algonquin get this ball out of this blue zone? Try to get these offensive chances going back the other way. That's going to be a nice little touch by Squash there. Ramen there going to be one to first touch that ball. Payne going to send that one towards the net. Going to get knocked away there by Christian, though, for that time being. Algonquin trying to get these chances going. Going to be a nice save there. Ball going to go back the other way. A little touch as well. Spoods, though, not going to be enough to find the net. Yeah, Schwarma looked like he had the setup there, but another great defense from the Saints. They try to take it into the corner. Christian so close to the post. Picked up by Spoods on the rebound. That's 2-0. St. Clair College starting their CRL run today off hot. Yeah, Christian making a great read there. Thought he maybe was going to go for the shot, trying to find that goal, but knowing he has Spoods right behind him, pass that one off the post. Spoods easily there to knock that one in. Now the Saints... 2-0 lead, just one minute in here to this start on this winner's bracket. I believe it'll be best of three until winner's quarters and loser's semifinals. Then we'll move into best of five territory, but that will be for later down the line in the bracket. Yeah, typical, you know, it's how all these qualifiers yeah. go. Eventually we hit that, that round of that is going to turn into those best of fives. But for now, we're chilling with these best of three. It's going to be, you know, slightly quicker matches, but still, I mean, even best of fives. Quick and Rocket yeah. League, nice and... <laughs> Nice and concise for us here. A shot from the middle from Christian, but going to go a little high. Squash out in the corner, finds a demo. That should give him a little time to work with, at least to stop this pressure a little bit. But they just haven't been able to find any of these quality shots, really. They've they've had a decent amount of getting into the same zone here, but three minutes left to play. Algonquin College hot out. Just yeah, they've had a really hard time possessing the ball. Seamus Great like shot that. there. Beautiful passing play. They find a golden chance, but Spoots being so good in that he's going to stop that one. Now Christian going back the other way. A lot of space to work with. Payne, though, going to be there to make that save. Knock that one away. Now the Saints trying to put this pressure back on. Ramen. Wow. Interception midair right into the back of that Algonquin net. The Saints now have a 3 nothing lead just under the halfway point of the game. A great read off of Schwarma's car there some ping pong going on in front of the net back and forth and back again that's going to be the third goal secured for the saints here two minutes 50 on the clock here the saints christian right back into it off the kickoff pass is going to be out towards Ooh. the middle christian just doesn't have the boost to follow up on that one from spoods but you see the setups you just see the way the gears are turning for these saints today all of these setups coming through whether they're followed up on or not it's it's the fact that it's happening and the maneuvers are coming through. Christian Whoa. comes in, smooth from behind. Rebound still off the post. Shawarma with the clear there, but Raman gonna have to keep it in this half as long as possible. Yeah, and although the Saints, it is very, very early into this first game, they seem to be doing a much better job of controlling the ball, trying to find chance after chance last week. The thing that kind of got them at the end of the bracket was they couldn't get possession of the ball. They couldn't really find shots on that, and eventually the volume just kind of swarmed them. They couldn't really deal with it in their own way, but now trying to turn the page here. Raman, second one of the game. That pressure starting to pay big dividends, and now 4 nothing lead with just two minutes left to play in this first game. Got two for two on Raman and Saints here. This varsity squad, I mean, I, it, it seems like they've really found their stride. Right? They're looking for this CRL run, right? And yeah. they're looking to try and make it towards that main bracket. These oh, getting smooth. started in these first games today, so, so hot. It's just setting up the rest of the day coming through. Raman tries to find one there from the corner. Squash there tries to contest that one. Payne finds a... Demo could come through here, but Raman bringing this ball straight back into ACB zone every single time. 
Yeah, the Saints are not relenting the pressure. There's going to be Spoods' second goal of the game as well. Six shots on target for him already. The Saints, you can tell they have a game plan coming into this first game. But light up the net as much as possible. Find these setups. Get everybody involved down there on that goal line. And so far, it is working out wonders for them. Yeah, 5-0 now in the game. Algonquin College getting to that point where a minute 30, tough. Tough, yeah. very tough to come back from this one. Game one looking to be sealed here from the Saints. Algonquin College, though, trying to get something going here. Payne in the middle. Can't really follow that one up. Raman takes it out to the corner. Watch this. Waiting for Spoots to come in through the middle. There he is oh. flying in from the corner. Or towards the middle. Is the shot going to be good? Shwarma's good for the save. Christian adding another shot under his belt, but not able to connect with the back Ooh. of the net there. The defense is good, but it's only really when Algonquin College has two or three players in net. Yeah. It's, it's tough for them to do. They have to use so Ooh. much resources for these oh. saves. Christian there on the bouncing rebound. Eight shots from Spoods in the game so far. 6-0. St. Clair Saints here looking to sweep this first game. Yeah, I don't think I misread it either. I think Christian has nine shots. So I think the Saints might be around that 20-shot mark at this point. We still have 51 seconds to play. Definitely one of the higher shot totals we have seen for a very, very long time. And the goals have been found on the backside of that as well. Spooge trying to take it himself there. Ball not going to find the back of the net though. Algonquin trying to find anything they can grasp at this point. You want to at least find something positive to take into this second game. It being that best of three, you're only going to have that potential second game to try to get back in this series. See if you can get things going the right way. The Saints though, they're maybe going to try to add some insult to injury. But with just 25 seconds to play game one, pretty much all but going to be in the books. And now game two on the horizon. Will the Saints be able to take out Algonquin? And there's gonna be a clear out in the net and there's gonna be a third goal, I believe, on the board for Spoon. There's seven on the board for St. Clair. 16 seconds to play in game two coming up shortly. I mean, you hit the 20 shot mark. These are bound to go in eventually. That defense bound to give. It is not often where you see Rocket League teams Go above that, like, I feel like that 15 mark is kind of that, like, high-end, yeah. kind of high shot count game. And 20-plus, I mean, you're bound to see some coming in. Yeah. Algonquin College starting to crack later in this game, letting a few more in. The defense starting to just get split up, get demoed a little bit as well. And Saints Varsity just takes that first game handedly. Looking to move on towards that next one. Keep going in this bracket. Now look at 21 shots to one. I'm no math genius, but if you're able to get those stats at the end of a game, you're going to be liking your chances to win these games. I mean, look at ACB. They make 10 saves. 50% save percentage. Mm -hmm. Not going to be the worst in the world. You made a lot of good plays, but 21 shots on net. We saw the Saints last week as well. I think Fisher put up 19, 20 shots on them, and they just couldn't cope with the pressure. Yeah. It's just way too much for a lot of these teams. You're going to be caught out of position. A rebound's going to go not in your way. Something's going to bounce against you, and then you're going to find yourself behind in the scorecards. But Algonquin, luckily for them, they will get at least one more chance to try to make amends. Yeah, it's like, you, you really, you just got to be realistic about it. I yeah. mean, 21 shots anywhere yeah. in that number coming towards your net, you're not going to be able to save yeah. all of them. It's just too tall of a task at that point, especially for a squad of three players where in a game like Rocket League, especially for a lot of these tight saves, you need boost, right? So yeah. these players have to save, rotate out towards those corners to try and reset their boost while... One of these rosters comes in and just keeps peppering shots on that net. You have to be so, so perfect on these rotations on defense to not leave any gaps in time or gaps in the net where a player can just come in and take one of those slow rolling kind of yeah. bouncing shots. We see Christian grab on the rebound where it's all three players on that defense are out of their resources and just can't make their way to that ball and you just see a slow shot roll in. Yeah, and the only other way to really beat the pressure is to have an excellent counterattack because you're only maybe going to find those one or two spots. Christian, you talked about the slow roller. He's going to hit that floater from half court. 10 seconds in, the Saints going to get back on top. Christian, that was a nice little first touch there to get it back over to himself. And then second one, no mistake about it. It's all about positioning. Christian sees the players start to get aggressive from Algonquin College off that kickoff and just chips one straight towards the back of that net now for 45. We've barely just gotten this second game started. The Saints are right back at it off the backboards as Spook from the air. Raman actually going to get contested right on the nose there. Christian here to keep the play alive. 
Swarma has to pass it out to Payne here. Payne through the middle. Spood's good on the defense, though. Yeah, now he's going to send it back toward that ABC or that ACB net, rather. Swarma, seeing what play they can make. The demo is going to be good on Christian. Maybe they can find some space, but that ball kind of caught up in no man's lane. The Raman going to make the play, going to find that demo on the backside. Now the Saints looking to see if they can find the angle. Double touch, maybe a miscommunication there. Raman and Spood's getting a little bit crossed over there. Ball back toward this orange side, though. Can Algonquin maybe try to make some play off that miscue in the other end? They're going to find a shot toward that net. Going to go wide left, though. And now the Saints on that counter attack. They could be so, so dead. The second touch, not going to be good. Two members, once again, flying on top of that net. Not going to find it. But for all of Algonquin's struggles in that first game, one nothing just a minute in, you're still very, very much alive. Yeah, 100%. I mean, now that all this time has passed, you've chucked off another minute. You've kind of settled into your defense a little bit. You've kind of settled into shutting down some of these Saints offensive plays that they keep trying to set up. And now, maybe now is when you start to look for that clear, look for that two-man play towards that goal because there's still only one goal down. A very, very close game here. Yeah, I'm seeing some great passing plays out of the Saints today as well. That's going to be a nice save on the left side. See if Algonquist can find that clear, those food with the demo. Now Raman. And in the middle, trying to see if he can keep this ball alive. One member not going to miss it. Oh, going to bump his teammate. Going to try to fake out. Not going to be able to find anything. Ball is going back the other way. Spoods, luckily, catching onto that one. Going to find that rotation. Is going to get taken out for his trouble. But that'll buy time for Christian to make a play toward the net here. Trying to beat the first defender. Not going to find that net, though. Shorma making that save. Now Spoods, no boost. Trying to see what he can do to get this ball up in the air. Christian. Gonna play that one toward that middle as well. Algonquin, maybe they can find something here at the Saints, though. Always seem to rotate just at the perfect time. Yeah, this has been the big one I've been seeing here in this second game is, yeah, slower game, especially in terms of the score. Christian, good for a save there from Squash. Spoods and Ramen coming in for a little bit of assistance on the defense as well. But coming into this game, it's been that first two minutes was Algonquin College on the defense, save after save after save tries to get that clear and the pressure would just reset by Spoods gaining possession, pass it back out to Raman and rinse and repeat. But now we're seeing a bit more resistance here from Algonquin College as they start to get some shots on net themselves. Yeah, and I like to see these demos coming as frequently as they are. Oh, what Rebound. a save and the second touch off the board, Raman. Beautiful job to read that one. A great save by Algonquin. Swarma absolutely saves that goal wow. with the second touch ramen right place right time and right result now a two nothing lead two and change left on the clock saint Clair has to be feeling good algonquin still in striking distance but as you just said they played such a good first half they seem to have kind of dialed in they got that feeling out process kind of crossed off and now they still find themselves in that two goal deficit a great save again by christian to keep that lead to be fair for Algonquin College, I mean, there's tons of shots I've seen here. Hold on, Christian from the air. Shwarma walks it up there, but Spoots here for the rebound. Takes it out to the corner. Kane should have this clear out. What I was going to say is there's been so many shots where in game one, I would have seen Algonquin College, you know, unfortunately dropping another goal. But now they seem to have gotten a bit of a read on this offense from the Saints. 2-0 still. Nothing close to the lead we saw near game one, and Algonquin College still got some time to play. Yeah, they've been able to find at least some gaps in that pressure, trying to get at least some counter attack going. They found a couple more shots on net. I mean, last game, it was 21 to one shots on net. So clearly, they weren't really finding anything offensively. Christian trying to get that offense going as well. Just gonna be denied that goal. Now Raman will be the last man back to play. And a great read off that ball though. Algonquin so damn close to cracking the back of that Saints net still though. They remain scoreless. They only have 61 seconds left now to try to keep this winner's bracket run alive. They got to find two goals. They have to find them in the next minute. And the Saints look at Raman, perfectly content to run off this clock if everyone's going to stand there and watch the ball. Yeah, I mean, that was five seconds where everyone waiting for Raman to make the play. <laughs> Raman literally took his foot off the gas. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the engine. Yeah, ball drops in towards middle. Squash is going to take this out from the corner. There's a good contest by Christian. Algonquin College now able to find their way into the Saints zone, but just cannot make yep. connections with these shots. They set up the pass, and it's the contest always on that last player who makes the shots, and the Saints know where to shut it down in the pass. Yeah, and now we'll see if Algonquin can go back the other way and find one. However, the clock not being their friend right now. They're going to have to find one in the next probably two, three seconds here. And even then, it would still be a long shot. Now, single digits remain. Algonquin looking more than likely like they will be heading down to that loser's bracket. 
and St. Clair College's varsity team will continue that winner's bracket run. They will take this 2-0 sweep over Algonquin College Black. 7-0 game one, 2-0 game two. That is how the first round is going to finish. That ball touches down, and that is going to be it. A stellar first game to start it off. And, I mean, we expect any less out of this varsity roster. Yeah. I mean, they made it so far last week. you got to expect them to, you know, at least come out with some more dominant rounds early on in this tournament. And then, you know, eventually we're going to get yeah. to later in the bracket with some real nail biters, maybe yeah. some best of five five games we love to see those but coming in we're gonna have to come back see who our next opponent is later on in this crl qualifying bracket but we will be back after a short little break <laughs> 